Next, we define a few terminology for magnetic circuits. This will be useful for the analysis of magnetic circuits. In electrical circuits, current uh, is flowing and the quantity which is responsible for the flow of current that is called electromotive force, the EMF. In uh, magnetic circuits, flux is flowing and the quantity which is responsible for the flow of flux is uh, called MMF, magnetomotive force. This magnetomotive force, uh, uh, for example, consider this uh, simple magnetic circuit. Uh, we have a, a steel ring uh, on which we have wound a current carrying conductor. Uh, due to that, the flux will flow in this magnetic circuit. The direction of flux lines can be determined by the right hand rule. So, flux lines will be flowing through these magnetic circuits. Flux is denoted by uh, this symbol phi. And uh, this MMF, MMF, magnetomotive force, is proportional to the current in this uh, circuit. More is the current, more will be the flux lines and uh, more will be the MMF. Furthermore, MMF is also proportional to the number of turns of this wire wound on this uh, steel ring. That is, MMF, magnetomotive force, is equal to number of turns into the current. So, what are uh, the units for this MMF? Units of current, you already know, that is uh, ampere, and uh, this number of turns is a unitless quantity. Therefore, the dimension of MMF is the same as the dimension of current. However, just to differentiate uh, current and uh, uh, this MMF, we also append T over here. That is ampere turns. T number of turns is dimensionless quantity. Uh, therefore, units of MMF is ampere turns. The same as ampere, how, just uh, this notation to differentiate it from the current ampere. Another useful quantity for magnetic circuits is magnetic field strength, also called magnetic field intensity. So magnetic field strength or magnetic field intensity denoted by H is defined as uh, MMF per unit length of the magnetic circuits. Here, the uh, flux lines are flowing uh, through these magnetic circuits and uh, different flux lines uh, have different path length. For example, this flux line uh, has a uh, different path length than this flux line and also this flux line has different uh, path length. Uh, here, this LC is taken as the mean path length, that is the average path length. This average path length is LC. And uh, MMF per unit length, uh, that is called magnetic field strength. Uh, this is the case when a magnetic circuit consists uh, of uh, homogeneous material and of uniform cross-section area. That is this cross-section area of this circular ring is uniform throughout the magnetic circuit and uh, also this uh, material used for this, uh, this magnetic circuit is uh, uh, the same. Uh, then uh, magnetic field strength will be defined as MMF per unit length. If that is not the case, that is if uh, this cross section area is not uniform uh, and, uh, or if uh, this material used in this magnetic circuit is not the same, then we have another complex expression. However, for this course, we shall not need that complex expression. Uh, this is enough for our purpose. Uh, what are the units for this uh, magnetic field strength? Uh, can be easily identified. That is, uh, the units for MMF is ampere turns and that for length is meter. So, ampere turns per meter. That is the dimension of magnetic field uh, strength. Another useful 
quantity for magnetic circuits is flux density denoted by V. Flux density is defined as flux uh, divided by uh, perpendicular area. So flux density is equal to flux divided by perpendicular area. Uh, here uh, this area, cross section area, flux phi is passing through this cross section area. So flux density is equal to flux passing through that area uh, divided by perpendicular area. Uh, what are units for this flux density? Units of uh, flux is Weber and that of area is meter square. So dimensions of uh, flux density is Weber per meter square, uh, which is also named as Tesla. Uh, that is flux is equal to flux density multiplied by perpendicular area. Uh, this is the case when flux density uh, is the same throughout that area, uh, perpendicular area. If that is not the case, uh, that is uh, flux density is different at different points. For example, if we have uh, this situation, I show the cross sectional area of this thing and uh, flux density is, is uh, different at different uh, uh, locations. Then uh, we can compute flux by another complex expression that is uh, flux density at each point multiplied by differential area that is we shall divide whole of this cross section area into small differential uh, areas and then integrate it multiply it with flux density and integrate it over uh, the uh, complete area then uh, that is the total flux However, again, uh, we shall not need this complex expression for our course. Another point to remember is that this area has to be perpendicular. We have to consider the perpendicular area. Flux lines are flowing in this direction. Uh, so this area is perpendicular. However, if area is like this one, so and flux lines are flowing in this way, so the, this area is not perpendicular. We have to compute the perpendicular area uh, to determine the overall flux. So now we see that, uh, uh, we know that uh, more is the MMF, more will be the flux. Flux is proportional to MMF. Furthermore, you can see that uh, flux uh, is related with, uh, flux density is related with uh, flux with uh, by this expression and uh, magnetic field strength is related with MMF by this relation that is B is proportional to flux and H is proportional to MMF therefore B is proportional to H we have just replaced phi by a proportional quantity MMF by another proportional quantity that is uh, flux density is proportional to the magnetic field uh, strength and the proportionality constant that is uh, uh, denoted by mu and that is the property of the material used in the magnetic circuit. Uh, different uh, materials have different values of this mu. For free space this, the value of mu is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 and it is denoted by mu naught. Permeability, this uh, is called permeability. Permeability of free space is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7. For uh, other materials, uh, this uh, is uh, different. For example, for steel, the permeability of steel is about 3000 times this one. Uh, that is for other materials we define another term relative permeability denoted by mu r so for other materials permeability is equal to permeability of free space multiplied by another number uh, for steel relative permeability is uh, about uh, 2000 times uh, 2000 up to 6000 so furthermore uh, in electrical circuits uh, the resistance 
to flow of current that is denoted by R that is resistor in mag magnetic circuits the resistance to flow of flux that is called reluctance denoted by this letter R reluctance uh, you remember uh, for electrical circuits for electrical circuits current and voltage these are related by V is equal to I R R alternately I is equal to V over R similar to electrical circuits this flux and MMF are related by this relation flux is equal to MMF divided by reluctance and uh, what is uh, reluctance equal to we can derive an expression for uh, this uh, uh, reluctance uh, we have already learned that B is equal to mu into H uh, that is uh, flux uh, divided by area that is equal to mu into H H is equal to MMF divided by LC uh, so flux is equal to mu A over LC into MMF uh, which is equal to flux is equal to MMF over uh, divided by LC over mu A that is this reluctance it is equal to length uh, of the path divided by uh, mu into cross sectional area of that magnetic circuit so in the next lecture we shall analyze we shall utilize these relations to analyze more complex magnetic circuits